We're now four episodes into epic new Disney Plus series Shogun, and already fans are looking ahead to whether season two could potentially be on the cards. Series co-creator Justin Marks has said that the prospect is looking unlikely, saying to The Hollywood Reporter, we get this story to the end of the book and put a period at the end of that sentence. He added, we love how the book ends. It was one of the reasons why we both knew we wanted to do it, and we ended in exactly that place. The series is based on the James Clavel novel of the same name, and although we're only a few episodes in, there's plenty more to come. With the show so far giving us just a taste of the deception, intrigue, and action, we can expect more of. As for now, it's safe to say that the series has already become one of the most talked about of the year. Shogun Episode 5 is titled Broken to the Fist and promises to keep the action and drama of Season 1 going. Based on what unfolded in Episode 4, let's speculate on what is at hand. We'll find out more when the episode drops on FX and Hulu on March 19, but in the meantime, let's break down the particulars. We saw passions flow between Blackthorn and Lady Mariko to the point that they had sex, despite the fact that Lady Fuji was appointed as Blackthorn's consort. This implies that there will be a lot of friction between the two going forward. Lady Mariko will probably brush it off in the interim, but this will undoubtedly have long-term effects. Additionally, I would anticipate seeing more of Lady Mariko's past, shown prominently in the show. Her father became well-known as a subordinate of Kuroda, the strongest warlord in existence at the time. We have only just began to explore the depths of her story, which is profound. I'm not sure how it will fit into everything. Lord Nagakato attacked the Nebra Joseon, taking matters into his own hands. His father will be held accountable for his acts, as he was not there at the attack. I believe Lord Toronaga deprives Lord Nagakato of his responsibilities as a regiment of cannons. It is necessary for Lord Ishido to inform the group of Lord Toronaga's resignation following his submission to the Council of Regents. To choose a new member, the Council must convene, but will they all agree? How does the murder of Nebura Josen and his soldiers affect the bottom line? I suspect Lord Ishido will push the Council to vote someone in to ensure Lord Toronaga's impeachment goes through as soon as possible. On the other hand, Lord Toronaga will have John Blackthorne continue to prep his soldiers for war, but in a more pressing nature with things ramping up. Blackthorne will soon demand his share of the agreement as long as he keeps up his half of the bargain. I foresee Blackthorn and Toronaga butting heads when Toronaga doesn't provide Blackthorn with his crew and ship promptly.